when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Hi man, so today is the day that I start prepping the 300ZX to get ready for it to pretty much go bye-bye. Uh, for those that follow on IG, you guys know that the 300ZX was on the chopping block and it has been chopped. So the SR20Z will be leaving the channel, man. It will be leaving. So the next couple videos will be like pretty much it as far as 300ZX goes. I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, yo, why are you giving away the 300ZX? That's the card you had since the beginning of the channel. It birthed the channel, it's a nostalgic car for, for you, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you guys are you guys are right. You know, this was a hard decision for me to make. Um, I definitely have crazy sentimental values to the 300ZX. And the long story short on the reason why I decided to get rid of the 300ZX is simply because there was other things that I wanted to do to, uh, to the 300ZX and it just wouldn't be right to pull apart a perfectly running car just to rebuild everything all over. 300ZX is such a dope car. Um, not too many SR swaps in 300ZXs and it was just like already done running car. It just didn't make sense for me to pull it apart to redo it. Whereas, you know, if I wanted to, I can go grab another 300ZX and do the new things that I wanted to do to that one. So. Uh, that's how that's how that all came about, man. So bitter, definitely a bittersweet moment. But I've said this many times. You guys know that my goal was to always build a two JZ or just JZ swapped 300ZX. That was always the plan. Uh, the SR came about because I had the SR out of my old 240 when that thing got boofed, and I pretty much just swapped over a bunch of parts and figured out how to make the swap work. And it's been a phenomenal car, man. I, I love it, but you know, times change, you grow, you want different things, and I just couldn't justify pulling the car apart and, you know, redoing it just because of something I wanted versus buy another one and start fresh with it, so. But yeah, anywho, man, let's go out here, get a couple more looks because, man, it's gonna be gone, man. I know a lot of y'all are gonna hate this, but more than likely, you guys probably will see another 300ZX on the channel later down the line, um, so. You know, don't hate me too much, but I just couldn't, I couldn't take it apart. Like, I would want to change so much stuff up, so it just, ugh, I couldn't justify pulling the SR out. It's a perfectly running, functioning car right now, performs well, it does cool shit, the power to weight is insane, so it just didn't make sense to tear it apart, man. Just, it just didn't. As far as today goes, the things that I want to get done is... Y'all already know I said I'm possibly going to be getting another 300ZX, so I'm definitely going to be uh, taking my hood off. And I've had these wheels for, I want to say, about 10 years. These were probably like the first set of real wheels that I ever like rebarreled. So, you know, these are staying with me. Uh, I already told told the person who wanted like everybody already knew I was taking the hood and the wheels off so no surprise there I gotta go get new tires for the front so we'll have brand new tires on the front and rear for the new owner and you can see right here I had the catch cannon here from the last drift event so what I'm gonna do is I'm a well not even a catch can it's like a freaking Gatorade bottle so I'm gonna be taking the Gatorade bottle out I actually got a catch can for it ah this is such a bittersweet moment man for those that know me SR20 was my very first turbo motor. This is my first turbo motor ever. Such a bittersweet moment getting rid of this car. But like I said, I wanted to do a Jay-Z swap. I definitely feel like I've outgrown SR20s. Uh, granted, it makes good power. Power to weight. This car makes 400 horsepower or 450 horsepower. Uh, 370 foot-pounds of torque. Car weighs 2,800 pounds. So it was a fun car. But when you got shit like this that makes you know 700 so it's gonna come with the OEM hood so fun fact for my non 300 ZX people check this out the factory hood is all aluminum so you can literally hold this thing with one hand factory hoods are actually lighter than pretty much all the aftermarket hoods for the 300 ZX even carbon fiber hoods look at that 
One hand. Motherfucker blowing in the wind. It's a kite. So we got young nappy roots right here helping a little bit. <laughs> These Just throw it on there. This is all stuff that's going going to trash. So yeah, these are the nine and a halves. I'm about to be taking these to go get some brand new tires mounted on them. All right, so I think we've done enough talking and explaining. Maybe I'll do some more explaining later because I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely in the air on this, man. I know this is gonna be something I regret, but yeah. Anywho, let's just let's get started. This is yeah. Let's just get to the time lapse. A lot of blessings piling up that I ain't even wished for None left over for y'all, I'm locking the fridge door At the crib, cutting hits I read through the catalog, came to conclusion, no one's touching this Just finished the maiden voyage, hopping off the Mayflower Set up shot to kill them off, whatever the take power Seen the boats, I'm at home I'm selfish with the goals, I could give a fuck who try and get along 6-3, you can't look me in the eyes, you ain't grown Coming on shore, reevaluate your goals, what you own See you still least beast, I got splits with all the bros Making sure the team eats, and I had a full time, a whole time That's a whole grind, gave myself the credit, bought it to me with no cosign I don't need a loan, I'm on 10, I'm my own dime Y'all got no control to take the sign away, a whole life still In the mud to my neck, I love a spy day, I still live all right, so once he's done getting the caps off of here, we're gonna run to the tire shop, the new tire swap, the new wheels, and then we'll be back. We're gonna get a window before we die. Oh, we're not gonna die. Need to get my AC hooked back up, man. I've been lagging. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Hey, what sounds does this make when it goes on? A dingy sound. <laughs> <laughs> Race truck blood. Race truck blood. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think it's the game? You don't think this is the race truck? Bro, it's the race truck, bro. I'm telling you. Look, woo! Woo! He wasn't ready. Look at it. He's trying to brace. He's trying to brace himself. I'm not bracing. He's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to put on the poker face. Knowing damn well I'll make him dookie on himself. Say I won't. won't. I'll do a donut right here in the middle of the intersection. You will not. Bet. Bet a thousand dollars. What? Bet. Got a thousand dollars. So, let's bet. I got a thousand dollars. So these things got burnt up last drift event. I mean, that one's still kind of fresh. So they had a couple more laps on them. But then for bruh, he got the brand new skis. The brand new skis. Give me them paper cheeks, boy. Give me them cheeks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah. You just been violated. Why you gotta be so <laughs> Well, looks like we have to go back to the house. Mr. Kyrie over here decided to grab two different size tires. What do you have to say for yourself right now, sir? Uh, he grabbed a 235 and a 255. So now we gotta drive back to the house and grab the right size tire. Wasting my gas. I'm charging you gas. Woo! He wasn't ready. Wow. Woo! <laughs> oh, the notch bag. So we just received this uh, somehow helping homeless people. I figure you need this. Cause I'm about to kick you out for wasting my gas. <laughs> Stop <laughs> All right, so all done at the tire shop. Funny little story. The person that was driving that uh, white notch back that I showed y'all, he was actually the old owner of the truck. He was just like, oh, bro, like I used to own that truck for a minute. He's the one who originally did the 5-3 swap in here. I don't know how many other people got it after that, but he was the 
one who did the fly three swap. It's hella funny. So he was like, yeah, man, this motor had hella low miles and shit, but small ass world. So yeah, we on the way back to the house now. Power, you ready? He swear he played football. I do. Just because they give you a uniform don't mean you. I start at linebacker. Show me. I'm gonna ask. I ask. I ask my whole team right now. Do it. Call him. Call your coach right now on speaker. We're about to confirm. No. Ah no. He's busy. Hey, he don't wanna. He don't wanna call him. He's busy. Somebody's riding the bench. He's he's busy. Riding busy. the look, bench. Look, look. My right our starting the quarterback even said yeah. Our starting quarterback said yes. I start at middle linebacker. Exactly. Yeah. Starting on the bench as a linebacker. Uh -oh. <laughs> Watching watch my first game on 11. Watch. Really? You really just made me do this? Why are you struggling? I'm not struggling. That don't look like the strength of a, a leading starting player to me. I'm starting. Come on, Toby. Who is Toby? You, Toby. Come on. Push, 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 Toby. I'm not Toby. All right, fresh tires. Now let's commence with finishing it up. Step up fresh and color skin over the bronze spray. Looking cool as fuck as I walk away. Get the job done. I'm James Bond and LeBron James. This is not a cosplay. Swear I'm in real life. And every time I don't write, when it feels right. They see the wind streak. Damn, this shit is long winded. I don't see you at the top. You cannot visit. Or the Dave's hot chicken at a crib with some goth bitches. Get me on any beat. You know I'm going off with it. And when my time comes and that shit'll come, know I'm ready. Always hit what I aim for. Bitch, I hold it steady. I feel for anybody trying to step in a way. All right, here she is. Looking nice and meaty with this tire combo. So we got 275s in the rear, 255s in the front. Fitment is A1. Perfect. All right, so next on my list is I want to get this catch can on here. So, remember I told you guys I had a catch can combo. Here it is right here with the breathers and everything. So, I'm going to be uh, mounting this up. So, I do need to go to O'Reilly's and grab some hose for it. Yeah, just run both of the valve cover ports directly to this thing. All right, so the hard part is going to be Trying to figure out where to mount this thing at. I don't see this thing fitting in the engine bay really anywhere. Yeah, nah. Definitely ain't gonna fit in the engine bay. So maybe I'll mount it underneath the uh, the nose panel somewhere up in here. I feel like that'll be a cool spot to mount it up in here. And then just run the hoses straight over and then This is the first time in Kyrie's life that he's ever had some hoes. <laughs> All right, time to get this catch can mounted up. There it is. So got it tucked away under the power steering cooler. You can see the filters right here. Literally ran the breathers how I was running earlier, but this one I dropped between the runners on the intake manifold and then ran it all the way across here. So I need to block off the, um, the vacuum port in the back right here. That's usually going back to the valve cover and then should be good all right so that's it for now man it's hot as hell right now so i'm gonna close this up i'm gonna go inside for a little bit and then probably later today i'm gonna pull it back out uh drive it around see how it feels with the new wheels make sure all the balance and everything is good and then uh maybe i'll go wash it later too all right what's good what's good my peeps a few hours went by and now it is time to go take this thing on a little test drive so i'm gonna be taking this out but also I'm going to be trying a different camera setup with a different lens. So uh, this is a wider lens. I think this should give a bit better 
like in car footage I also have it on like super stabilization so hopefully this the footage looks smooth and crispy we're gonna see it's gonna be my first time actually trying um, this setup with this lens combo while doing in car driving footage I haven't tried it yet so I'm hoping this is gonna be my new go-to for in car footage and it gives like that natural motion blur cool effect where you can kind of see like you know speed but also being crispy and not so jumpy so fingers crossed hopefully this works and hopefully the footage comes out good so uh let's get the testing man
going to somebody that I feel like is really going to appreciate the car, you know. A lot of people probably would have just took the 20K, but for him, he knows that, you know, it took more than 20K to build this car, and, you know, it's not something that you can build again for 20K, so, you know, I, I, I respect him because he understands the value of what it took to build it. So, man, I really just hope he takes care of it, man.
Hi, just pulling up to our boy White Aaron's. <laughs> He's over here messing with the G. I'm gonna walk to his neighbor's yard. It's cracking, food. How you doing? Milking the content. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, man. I about died when I saw that comment. For all y'all, I'm just milking it. I'm trying to see if I can do things as slowly as possible, take up the garage for as long as possible, have Mike over here as many times as possible. Hey, be like that. Not YOLO. With Not with me, you know. Ooh. Yeah. So you know what filter this is? Hmm? You know what filter this is? No, I don't. It's but first... Factory Corvette filter. Really? Yeah. So. Yeah, I was like, dang, how do you get it on the first try? I literally put it on, I was like, oh. I had one at the house. This is for the truck's uh, oil change. Oh. But I took it to an oil changer because they give you a free car wash with it. <laughs> it might actually do it though. It needs to be like 16 from, from the bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, try to see. If so, you can swap both of them and then I can use those two Bosch's well, on the- uh, one worked. Nah, we gotta be matching, man. Well, I mean, this pig tip, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll try it. Is it gonna reach? Screw this old girl in here. Nothing ever works perfect like that. Nope. You ain't gonna get lucky. I know. We'll put the two Bosch's on the uh, C6. That's why I got a freaking check engine light. Oh, really? It's been like that for hella long. What? No. It's like a half an inch away. I told you. I'm just gonna cut up the other one then, the shorter one, and extend it. The old condom on. <laughs> All right, man, so it's looking like this thing is ready to fire up. Hell yeah. First startup right here. We're going to check in and make sure everything is good. All right, fresh battery in there. Ooh, you hear that? We got power. Bro, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. This thing's been here. Look, we got little LEDs down here. We've done some stuff to this, so I'm just kind of like... <laughs> hey, it ran before. I know. I don't normally get like all weird about it. Fuel pump, fuel pump prime. Oh, I hear fuel pressure. So did I. So you are, or you hooked the fuel pump up, right? <laughs> it is something, right? Let's do it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm a 